What up everybody and welcome back to another video and today I will be showcasing kit PvP So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and the showcase So before we start this is like any other kit PvP but rather than like buying stuff you have all the kits free uh, to use so if you want to use any kit experiment with different kits that's you can you, you can do that so once you download this road and you join it you can see that you've joined this small lobby with different npcs that uh give you the kits now first off we have is fighter kit which uh contains like all diamond stuff so diamond armor diamond sword and eight golden apples next up we have is archer kit which gives you a leather helmet a bow and some arrows and next kit we have is fisher kit now you get a fishing rod which is very useful for pvp you have some blocks which this is like the only kit for blocks so if you want blocks fisher is the kit as you can see is the third npc on the right side next up you have is feather falling two chain boots so that's useful like if you're on a high ground and you fall you don't you won't get a bunch of damage and then you have a diamond pickaxe just to break the blocks, you know, you know. Alright, next up we have is the chef kit that gives you a bunch of food items because uh, saturation is not um, enabled, I think. Wait, is it enabled or disabled? I think it's enabled. Yeah, okay, it's, it's enabled. Okay, there's, yeah, there's no saturation, so you, need, so you need a pair of food to run and to heal. Alright, now over here we have the clear NPC. So if you have a bunch of items in inventory that you don't want, you just press the clear button over here. And then next up we have is this ender chest right here. So this is basically your inventory sorter. So if you want to keep some items and all the other items you don't want, you can just press the clear button over here and put all of your stuff in here before clearing. Sorry. And now over here we have the aqua kit, which you get a trident, a turtle shell. I have no idea why it's a turtle shell, but I mean, whatever. And then next up we have is snowballs. Next up we have is the lumberjack kit, which gives you an axe, you know, for cutting wood. Uh, fed and steel which is like also for useful for cutting wood and then next up we have is a shield because why not so now if you want a companion you can have this wool pack right here which gives you four wool spawn eggs and some bones and you get some cooked mutton if uh, your dog is like in low health now there is a timer on the dogs so that uh, it reduces lag so they will despawn uh, very soon, I think. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Now this final kid we have here is the noob kid, which is really the best kid here. All you get is a leather armor, and you get wooden. You get a wooden sword. Yes, best kit in my opinion. So now, if you want to select a kit, you gotta stand on this glass block right here. Click on the NPC and then select the kit and then you'll get your stuff right here. Because if not, the items will just spawn on top of this and they will despawn. So there's like a clear clear wave so that, uh, you know, if somebody dies, it won't be like laggy. Alright, so now let's say that you're done. You have chosen your kit and now you want to fight. All you have to do is go to this little uh, start button. I don't know how to describe this. Oh yeah, this little tiny structure here in the wall. So when when you're ready, you just press the button and then you get teleported over here. Now the reset here, it only makes it so that the blocks disappear. So, that, so there's not like a lot of blocks around and it's messy and unplayable. So that's, that, that's just for that. So once you spawn in, you have a slowness effect so that if people are like kind of making a wall on the side, you can escape it if you don't have a pickaxe. Because if you do not have a pickaxe, you will have to wait for the next reset to happen. Now, once you're down, you're gonna see other people playing this. And yes, this is a multiplayer game. You cannot play this if you're alone. The only reason you can play this alone is if you like select blocks and you just wanna spam blocks around. I don't know, some, some people do that. They just take blocks and start spamming around, which is just weird. Like, why would you waste your time doing that? So yeah, like I said, when you die, well, your stuff gets dropped but then you gotta you gotta be fast because as you can see uh, your items will clear very fast so you gotta pick it up before the items clear i also think that i didn't mention is that over here on this platform you cannot place blocks because uh, people like i said people if, if people don't have a pickaxe 
and there's blocks here they're just gonna suffocate so that's why they spawn up here for the walls to like you know work you know if, if there's walls yeah now there is actually a road height so i'm just gonna showcase you now on this map there is a road height so if you just bridge up bridge up put blocks and just go up as you can see your blocks start to disappear so there's like a height limit this white border thing here helps you um like kind of know where the height limit is so just keep 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 in mind that this is the block limit but you can still like jump here and stuff you know oh yeah and also uh fall damage is included as, as, as you saw there just jumped and got damaged yeah and like i said if you have a diamond pickaxe you can just break the blocks now unfortunately you do not get the blocks back because if no, uh, this game doesn't work because Minecraft is complicated. Yes, Minecraft is very, 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 very complicated. Now, another thing that I did not mention is that uh, flint and steel and uh, the blocks, you cannot place them in the lobby, as you can see. They just despawn. So, yeah, that's, that's you know, it, 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 you can't build. All right, and also uh, the fire, the fireworks in, in, in the game. So, um, you can just light yourself on fire and and light autos on fire. Okay, this is very annoying. Insane. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase uh, video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Which will probably also be another map. Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing that actually doing this uh, kind of ideas very very um, frequently now so I expect to be more PvP games and just other non PvP games so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you very soon